How's it going guys? We are back with another video here. And this video is going to, you know, break down all the new content that has come out today in Hockey Ultimate Team, all the Stanley Cup, you know, event stuff, and, uh, you know, give my opinion on it, and on uh, all that good stuff, alright? So, uh, without further ado, you know, let's hop into it right now, you know, definitely a lot of uh, mixed reviews from a lot of people, but uh, here it goes, alright? So, let's go to it, and uh, as you can see now on the screen, Stanley Cup event objectives are still there, which is nice, cool, 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 uh, and then here you go. So basically previously how they do it every year right ea does this uh where they have these stanley cup cards right the event cards and they uh they upgrade based on like you know team wins game one let's just say like the blues win game one they get a plus two or something like that plus one whatever it may be uh that's how they do it right so they release a bunch of these cards they gave uh two uh cards per team for the first round right uh they started out 86 overall so listen uh it just it's not that bad, it's sort of that low, but I feel 88 would have sounded more reasonable because then they get to a 90, you know, uh, 6, uh, at, at, you know, when a team wins a series. And uh, I hope, if, if, at least it's for now, just round 1, maybe round 2, they make it 88 overall they start at because, you know, realistically, uh, these cards don't seem to be that intriguing, I'll be honest with you. They don't seem like they're that, uh, you know, outstanding, that's for sure. They're just... You know they're, they're they're there you know it's it's a good idea like i said i love the Stanley cup events always i love how it's done where you know it goes up per win and all that stuff it's cool it really is but i feel like a lot of the speed is just really really low on these cards and again you know i get it navi car is going to be 95 98 blazing speed but you know these don't really look like the most intriguing cards by any means right so looking at these cards you got the devon tage you got burakoski justin falk Braden shen Braden McNabb, uh, Chandler Stevenson, Jordan Greenway, and uh, Kokinen. Uh, then you have the Lausanne, uh, Brett Ritchie, sorry, Brett Ritchie, uh, Nick Ritchie, um, Brendan Dillon, Daniel Sprong, Adam Pellich, Brock Nelson, Brian Dumoulin, and Jared McCann. All right, so that's what you got for those. Uh, then you have uh, John Ruda, Yanni Gord, Chris Dreiger, uh, Carter Verhage, uh, Dante Fabro, Callie Yarncroke, Brett Pesci, Vincent Trocek, uh, then you have Brossois, Andrew Kopp, Adam Larson, Alex Chieson, Joel Edmondson, Philip Deneau, TJ Brody, Zach Hyman, uh, those are all the cards. Now, all right, so let's look at them a little bit more, you know, in depth, right? So as you can see in the events section here, uh, they have a lot, they have a synergy, a lot of synergy, which is ne definitely nice, right? So the Brody and all of them, they have two, you know, two points to each of these first two synergies, right? So two to barrage and two to shutdown, two to barrage and two to spark, you know, so on and so forth. But realistically, a lot of these guys are very, very slow. So like Andrew Cop, right? Like realistically, he could at max at like maybe like 90 speed, which is really not great, right? Um, yeah, it's 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 not great. I can tell you that much. And uh, it's, uh, I don't know. It could be, I guess, a little bit worse, but. For me, I don't know. I think it could have been a little bit, a little bit better. These cards, and and I don't know. Like maybe I'm wrong for feeling that way. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm a little bit greedy with how how fast I want some of these cards to be. Because again, not every not every player is really that fast in real life. I get it. I really do. Um, but like, I just feel like outside of like maybe what, like who's who's really some of the best ones? I mean, Yannick is not too bad with speed. So I guess with the 92 with the distributor already and the lightning, you know, they're gonna probably win a few games in that series at least, if not win the series, right? So you know, it's not that bad, but. It just feels like it could be a lot better, right? Like Pesci, I mean, like I don't know, like Adam Pellick, let's just say, 83 speed, like, like Pellick is maxing at like 81, 8 speed, 89, like, you know, well, like maybe 90, 91. It's just, it's just, it's just not. I don't know. It's not crazy. Let's put it like that. None of these cards are like crazy good. Like I don't know. Unless your team is really not that great, maybe some of these cards can help you. But other than that, it's not really uh, amazing. It's really not amazing. So. Yeah, but the other thing I wanted to mention as well, all right, was the sets. I think the sets are actually really bad, okay? So, let me just ask you something, guys, all right? So, if we go to the sets here, all right? The Stanley Cup uh, playoff sets. So, here you go, right? So, if you trade in 10 gold collectibles, you get a random choice of one of two. Tradable, which is nice, but, dude, that these could literally be worthless, and they could not upgrade at all. And you're, you're trading in 10 gold collectibles, which is really a lot of value. It's like 500k value. 
potentially to, none of those cards are over 500k let's put it like that none of those cards are over 500k at all there's literally no shot in the world any of those cards are over 500k so that is just what's crazy to me uh and then and then this one as well uh this one is seven collectibles for a random untradeable version and it's one random it could be anybody it could be literally anybody and uh yeah i just i don't see why you would why you would do these sets because there's just no guarantee of, of a good card and I don't know, there's just too many gamble sets for my liking recently. There's really not enough guaranteed sets for average cards. That's my opinion. Like, I get the MSPs, you know, you, these are going to be, of course, like, you know, attainable in terms of you trade in collectibles, do on, do that, do that. But I feel like the event cards should be a lot more atta obtainable. Because, I mean, they're not as good as the master cards, right? That's kind of the point. They're supposed to be the middle tier compared to the master being the best tier, right? That's how I feel, at least. But... I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm in the wrong here for thinking that, you know, they should be a little bit better and the set should be a little bit cheaper, but I don't know. I want to know what you guys think of these cards. I really, really do. What do you guys think in the comment section down below? Let me know, all right? Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, though, please leave a like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel here, follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik with three E's. Join the Discord, talk to me, followers and subscribers of the channel. Make sure you're in the Discord, though. We're doing a bracket challenge. Uh, it's really, really, really gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a prize and everything. So join the Discord. Make sure you join it. Exclamation point. <laughs> Exclamation point Discord. I think I'm streaming, I guess. Uh, it's in the comment section down below. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Code Henrik, 10% off your G Fuel orders always, and I'll see you all in the next video.